The young and the restless revealed that the supporting Nikki was actually a risky decision for Jack, and even got into unnecessary trouble. However, he will not give up because he understands one thing clearly. She really needs his body. In the end, not only were there old feelings between them, but they both became closer and closer. And meanwhile, Nikki has a stable and good life with Victor, even if Jordan hadn't caused trouble. She probably wouldn't be so tired right now, therefore she needs to clearly solve her own problems as soon as she faces everything. And we see that there would be more interesting things happening in the near future. Previously, Jack also had to try to quit his addiction, but instead of alcohol, it was painkillers. He uses this when relieving pain from gunshot wounds. However, he never thought the matter would be so tense, but he soon got over it and believed that Nikki would make it. So that may be the reason why Lauren proactively went to see him to hope for help for Nikki, because she understands that he's experienced they are even closer and easier to work with. After all, perhaps he himself is doing very well on his own matter, and currently Nikki's health situation has also changed, but how long will it take for her to truly recover? We believe that the upcoming plot will not disappoint you. After all, Jack doesn't have any problems or even alcoholism, which is a lot better than Seth, but of course there will be many problems surrounding it. But perhaps if Nikki is really determined, we believe she will become much better, and she will even be fully aware of how this affects her life and work. Currently, after the big fire at the prison where Jordan is being held, people still can't find her right, right away. But we believe she's really hiding somewhere out there. And of course, she will soon be revealed, and could Nikki and Claire be targeted again this time? With Nikki constantly being near, what if Jack risks everything to protect her from the danger that Jordan brings? Is it even possible that he will be injured or have gunshot wounds again? If the injury becomes severe and even causes some pain, will Jack once again seek medicine? It was definitely a bad thing that no one expected besides Tucker, and Tucker will definitely seize the opportunity well to bring down Jack and even destroy the Abbott family. Besides, does he realize that Kyle's always cooperated and supported Tucker to create and take over Jabbit? This will definitely be a thing that makes him feel the most dissatisfied, especially since Diane is also involved in this problem. What if this causes their relationship to become increasingly seriously affected? Not only did Diane not stop her son, she may even not have helped him a lot, but this only made the Abbott family situation more complicated. Finally, he feels hurt. If he realizes that family or even married life is not going smoothly, even if his ex Nikki has it all, will this make him feel self-conscious? After all, if Jack is truly addicted again, will he be able to help Nikki again? Even he himself is having trouble with his own problems, but Nikki would also feel a lot of self-blame if it weren't for her. The situation wouldn't be as serious as this. Will Jack really suffer like that while protecting Nikki? Or will this make Diana unhappy as she causes problems for her husband? Victor changed his view of Jack after helping his family. So please leave your comments below and let us know. Thank you.